Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the Cobra Legions box set from the 25th anniversary. It comes in this really cool uh, kind of metal looking case thing. Flip it up and you've got the cool characters inside. We've got Storm Shadow, a Cobra Trooper, Cobra Commander and the cool black outfit, the Cobra Stinger Driver, and a Cobra Air Trooper. The cool thing about these sets, uh, and there were actually five of these released, this is the fifth one. It also comes with this really cool little uh, Cobra emblem here, if you press the button on it. It goes through and does a couple of those things, so it's a really cool little set here. Uh, again, re really awesome box. We'll flip it over to the back here before we unbox everything. Uh, it's got just kind of a overall, all of the different Cobra Troopers and different versions of it and the different media and everything, so it's a really nice looking box set. Uh, nothing major on the top. On the bottom it just has the instructions for the uh, collector case that's resealable which is kind of cool um, but yeah let's go ahead and just open this thing up and unbox it uh, it's a little bit weird of a box they've got the sides of this thing taped up and then it comes out and then we can get the actual troopers out so we're just gonna go ahead and start there so uh, just kind of find the uh, side here and we're going to insert our exacto knife here between the outer cardboard and the inner cardboard sleeve. And just kind of run that across the side there. Nothing on the top. Get the other side here. And I don't think there's anything on the bottom, but uh, we'll... Yeah, nothing on the bottom either, so... Fairly straightforward. Then we'll just uh, flip it over and just dump that out, I guess. Perfect. <clears throat> then the the box is kind of whatever it's a collector's case you can end up putting stuff back inside it as well but uh, we've got file cards on the back so we'll just go ahead and uh, cut that tape off of there and pull the tape off the rest of it and uh, we'll open these things up here in a minute but just uh, be aware that these are on the uh, the back side of your cardboard case, so you want to keep on the lookout for that. Uh, then we've got these little plastic tabs on the side here, so we're just going to cut the tape off of them as well. They do a real good job of... Uh, Taping everything down with the 25th anniversary line. Keep everything from moving around on you. So uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but nothing too outlandish. Flipping it back over. Now the uh, case should just come out. I'm going to have to pull on it a little bit to get those plastic tabs to come out and release. Then we got this cool little diorama. In the back here which has uh, all your Cobra Troopers which is pretty nice the Crimson Twins here Crimson Guard Cobra Infantryman the Air Troopers the vehicle drivers the Red Ninjas and over here on the side we've got uh, Destro and the Baroness and uh, Major Blood so yeah kind of cool uh, then the actual uh, top case should just pop off like so, and you can uh, kind of do whatever you want with that. You can keep it to reuse it if you want to use it as an actual case, or you can toss it out, whatever you want to do here. This uh, bottom piece just kind of flips out. It's the Cobra stand, <laughs> but inside of it, we've got the actual figure stands. So I'll slice the tape off of it, 
and pull those out of there. A couple other accessories are in this kit as well. And uh, we'll look at them individually here once we get zoomed into uh, the individual troopers. But just don't throw those out because some more weapons for us to look at. And then uh, again, you can keep this or toss it out. It, it does make a nice little display piece, so you might want to hang on to it. The actual, oh, let's see. Uh, just flipping this over to look to see if we have any of the crazy rubber bands holding anything in. It looks like we don't. We've got a, a little bit here on the Cobra Trooper. Uh, Storm Shadow doesn't seem to have anything. Cobra Commander doesn't seem to have anything holding him in. Stinger Driver has one on his legs. And the Air Trooper has those rubber bands on his legs as well. So cut them off. And we'll just start pulling this stuff out. So here is the, the cool little... Uh, voice box thing. It does have an on off switch so you can turn it off. This is kind of a neat little thing here. So, uh, Let's go over here to this side and just uh, start pulling these guys out. Most of this stuff you're not going to get it out without uh, removing some stuff and moving things around here, there, and about. So for this uh, jetpack, it gets a little aggravating here. Let's see here. You can uh, pop the uh, actual blaster piece off the little tab thing and then just poke that little thing back in there. And then your uh, jetpack is out. And we've got the Stinger driver here, which will get his gun out first. And he should just uh, lift out. Perfect. These little uh, Cobra flag banners are just uh, cardboard pieces. They don't actually come out. Um, you can pull them out if you want to. They're just kind of glued in place. And as you can see, they kind of try to rip a little bit. So I don't have any use for them, so I'm gonna leave them there. But if you do, feel free to grab them and do whatever you want to with them. Uh, Cobra Commander's in here weird. So we'll have to pull him out feet first and feed his feet through here. Not exactly the easiest one to get out. And his gun's halfway stuck inside the case too, so pop that out. And pull his other hand out and his helmet. There we go. <clears throat> and we'll get Cobra Trooper. And we'll have to feed his gun out a couple of different ways here. There's actually a little piece of tape here holding it in. So let's just cut that tape first. And pop the butt out and slide it out. And then Storm Shadow. You'll probably have to get him off his backpack and I think his backpack is actually uh, attached by that strap so we'll have to figure out how to get the him out 
pull his sword out first. Now he's kind of in here like Cobra Commander, so you'll have to free his legs first. Kind of push them up and around till you can get them out of the plastic. Again, they don't really make it real easy to get these guys out. His uh, arrow backpack thing. I have to kind of stick it back through the plastic and then twist him around and then pull him out. <laughs> there we go. Now all our figures are free. And this is uh, recycling material. So we got Storm Shadow here, the Cobra Officer, Cobra Commander, the Vehicle Driver. And the air trooper then of course the really awesome uh, speaker thing the uh, figure stands and file cards so all in all a really cool looking set uh, we'll zoom in here on each of these individually and take a look at them we'll start out with just uh, one of these actually we'll just do both of these figure stand packages here um, just a little piece of tape on here And we'll dump the contents out and see what we have. So we have the uh, Cobra Commander's figure stand, uh, traditional 25th anniversary. Code name up front, uh, Cobra symbol there, raised. And we've got uh, Storm Shadow, kind of the same stand here. Uh, we have a really cool bow for Storm Shadow here. Then we've got a secondary helmet for the air trooper. We'll add to him here in a little while. And another assault rifle also for the air trooper. It's a little bit bent here, but uh, that's okay. This is a really cool looking assault weapon. Kind of the traditional one these guys have always came with. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and open the other pack real quick. Then we have the Cobra Air Trooper, the Stinger Driver, and the regular Cobra Trooper. So pretty cool, just a standard 25th anniversary figure stands here, so nothing special about that. But uh, you do also get the extra helmet, the extra assault rifle, and uh, the bow for Storm Shadow. Next up, we'll take a look at the actual figure cards, the file cards. They are taped in the bags as well, so just uh, slice that tape off real quick. And these come with a nice black mat. We've got the uh, Cobra Trooper, the Cobra Vehicle Driver, and the Air Trooper here. Standard file cards here nothing special about them uh, next up is the set that also has the instructions with it so we've got the Cobra Commander file card and Storm Shadow then for the instruction sheet this is just uh, how to replace the batteries in the speaker so, nothing too crazy about that, but, uh, you know, 
some people need to remind need reminders on how to replace batteries so there you go uh cool file cards and the instruction sheet here we have the cool speaker thing it's got a nice cobra emblem on it uh it's fairly large it's not heavy but uh it's got some decent weight to it flipping it over to the back uh, you've got your on off switch and your compartment for the battery Let's go ahead and turn it to the on position again press the button So you do have to listen to the entire thing before it stops. You can't stop it prematurely without switching it off on the back. But it does have three different sayings on it, and uh, these are taken from the cartoon series. Uh, mostly the theme from the actual G.I. Joe the movie, which was cool. The regular Cobra scream. <laughs> And then part of the G.I. Joe theme. So, all in all, very cool looking. Uh, this thing's a great little accessory. Uh, the audio actually comes in really good. They've done a good job on recording that sound. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool little piece here. It'll get old pretty quick, but uh, it is still nice to have. The first figure we'll look at is the Cobra Air Trooper. Uh, he comes with some really cool accessories here. Uh, all in all, though, it's basically the same as the regular Cobra Trooper. A slightly different paint job and a couple of accessories to kind of set him apart. And he does have the gloved hands as opposed to the uh, ungloved hands, which is another way to tell him apart here. Uh, Accessory-wise, we do have the awesome Cobra Jump Jetpack here. Uh, this is basically the same mold as all the other G.I. Joe Jump Packs. Um, so it's a really nice looking set, and I think they actually just re-released this uh, for the Sky Patrol uh, convention box set here in a slightly different color. Um, I've got one laying around somewhere, I'll get and review it at some point, but they do have some nice detail work on this, and the Cobra symbol on the back is a really nice little touch here. You've got your arm controller here, it also has some kind of laser weapon on it or something. It's got a little peg hose that just goes into the side here and then the hose at the bottom does not come off unfortunately though so uh, but anyways it's a really cool it just uh, has a traditional peg there in the back line it up with the peg on the, uh, the peg hole and it just slides onto their back fairly easily there so these things are fairly common pretty easy to come by these jump jet packs but it's still a really nice little accessory to have here so very cool looking then uh, we already taken a look at the other accessories here the uh, assault rifle and the extra helmet here uh, it does have a little emblem on the front here just to denote i guess that he's an air trooper then the figure itself uh, has this cool helmet that is removable like so and that's where you can take the other helmet and uh, stick it on Stick it on him if you can get it to stay put there. And he can uh, work as a regular trooper at that point. But uh, the actual helmet here for these guys is a really cool helmet. It kind of looks like a Fallout mask or something like that from the video game Fallout. But, oh, <clears throat> I can't hold on to it today. The actual figure itself, again, it's uh, pretty much the same as the regular Cobra Troopers here, so um, not getting anything we haven't seen before. I did uh, forget to pull off the uh, rubber bands off his legs here. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Before we get into the actual articulations features. Sorry about that, I should have done that before we started. There we go. Alright, uh, so accessory wise, he also comes with a nice dagger on his side here. It fits in very securely. 
not going to fall out or anything. Some nice web gear. Uh, so all in all, it's a, it, these figures have always been really cool figures, so uh, nothing really crazy about them. Articulation-wise, the head does move 360 degrees. Uh, he is bald, uh, but that's where the helmet comes into play. Stick his helmet on there, and you don't know he's bald. So Shoulder joints, traditional ball and swivel. Uh, elbow joints, ball and swivel as well. And then uh, just the swivel at the wrist. Then the chest is articulated. You've got the twist and ab crunch feature there. Uh, the web gear doesn't really get in the way of anything, uh, but the actual ab crunch feature is a little bit limited on this particular sculpt anyways. And I uh, popped off his web gear a little bit there. They just got those little little bitty tab things on there so you can snap it back on pretty easily there. Uh, then no waist twist, but uh, the actual ab feature chest articulation takes care of that, so no big deal there. Standard T-hook at the uh, hips, so full range of motion there. They do have a double knee joint and the uh, swivel and the rocker at the ankle joint, so full articulation there. Again, some really nice detail work on the, the boots and the laces here. If I can get that to show up at all. I don't know if that's... You can see that or not. Let me see if I can get the... But anyways, uh, really nice articulation there. Really nice detail work. All in all, this is a really cool figure. Uh, it's a great addition to any Cobra Legion. And it's a good figure. We'll throw his helmet back on there. Um, it's a really cool one. Nice addition to this five pack here. Works really well, so I don't think you'll be disappointed at all with this trooper. We'll snap his backpack on there. Throw the uh, jetpack controller on his hand and fit it into his uh, into his hand there. And then you also still have room for his assault rifle, so. All in all, very cool, nice figure here, sweet. Next up we have the Cobra Vehicle Driver, or the Stinger Driver, depending on uh, which version you're looking at, or uh, which what you're looking at here on the figure stand, it's calling him the Stinger Driver. On the file card it's a uh, Vehicle Driver, so, you know, whichever. This is essentially the same sculpt as the other Cobra Troopers, so we're not really seeing anything new here. It still looks really nice though. They have uh, a couple of extra different things here as far as the paint decals go. The little red pieces here look really nice. Um, works pretty well. Uh, as far as the head sculpt here, again, it's the same one. The paint apps on this one give him kind of a glowering look here. Um, he's a little angry looking, I guess, and maybe a little sleepy. Maybe he's got too many exhaust fumes he's been sucking on. Uh, but anyways, he also comes with the uh, very cool dagger here on his side. Stick that thing back in here. Get in there. Uh, Articulation-wise, it's the same. So pretty much you're going to get the same articulation here. The, uh, the actual helmet itself, uh, for whatever reason, is just stuck on there pretty good here. Uh, so it pops off really good. And it's got some nice uh, paint apps on this thing. The black on the inside kind of sets it off a little bit. Gives it a nice extra little look here for a vehicle driver. So that's really nice. Um, the head itself does spin 360 degrees. Not a whole lot of up and down motion, but um, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Standard shoulder joints, ball and swivel. Standard uh, elbow joints, ball and swivel. Still just the uh, swivel on the wrists same chest articulation here as the other figures we've seen standard t-hook at the waist 
double knee joints and uh, ball and swivel or swivel and rocker I should say at the ankle here <clears throat> so all in all again it's the exact same sculpt so it's not a new figure it's just a slightly different paint job um, but it really works well for the stinger driver so no complaints from me whatsoever on this one the accessory he comes with is a uh, it's an assault rifle it's the same one we have with the other Cobra Troopers but in a slightly different color so it's got the nice gray color that uh, pretty much he's sporting with his jumpsuit here so dig his uh, rifle in his hand and uh, you're good to go so uh, yeah these uh, stinger drivers are really awesome I just wish there were uh, that the actual stinger vehicles were a little bit easier to come by but you know it is what it is, so still a really awesome figure. Next up, we've got Cobra Commander. And a nice new black and silver color scheme. This is a really nice looking figure. Um, I do like the black and silver color scheme. It really works well for the figure. Uh, and it's Cobra Commander. So uh, what else are you looking for here? So um, it is the same sculpt as the, the other Cobra Commander figures. So it's a, a really nice kind of reuse of the existing mold. Uh, they've got some really nice little highlights here. I don't know how well this shows up here, but the actual Cobra symbol is painted in gold on his sleeves or his um, where his collarbones would be, I guess, is the best way of looking at that. And then on his helmet as well. And then nice silver and gold highlights all the way around. Again, he's got the traditional kind of uh, weapon holster built into his back for whatever reasons. Uh, so his extra pistol that he comes with can just kind of peg in there. Get it turned the right way. And uh, he can carry that on his back as a little holster there. It's a nice little touch. Um, I honestly don't remember why it came that way to begin with, but uh, it did. So they've kind of kept that theme rolling for throughout the year. So it's, a, it's an interesting little throwback there. But um, his helmet is removable. Uh, then really not a whole lot else going on there. It's kind of got a nice interesting little thing here on the back of his head for uh, the actual helmet to plug into to kind of hold it in place. Never really understood that either, but that's there. So The head does move 360 degrees and has uh, some pretty good up and down motion as well. So uh, no real problems there at all. The helmet does have a tendency to slide off a little bit, so just uh, secure it on there pretty well and you should be fine. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. And then instead of a wrist twist, uh, he's actually got a forearm twist. So his, his entire gauntleted arm moves. Uh, and that's pretty standard for all of these Cobra Commander figures there, so nothing really knew about that that's kind of what we're expecting here he does have the uh, waist twist feature and some ab rock function going on here so you can get some pretty decent articulation there standard t hook at the waist double knee joint and then a uh, ball and swivel actually at the uh, ankle so all in all very cool looking the uh, accessory he comes with is just his uh, standard blaster pistol here I don't know how well we can see the details on this, but they do have some nice detail work on this thing. And again, it does peg into the back of his, uh, on his back actually. So if you don't want to have him carrying the pistol around in his hand, uh, he can always just kind of stick it back there and go, uh, he can go all John McClane on you and, uh, you think he's not armed and he's got his pistol there. So, yeah. Still a very cool figure. Um, I know it's kind of a, a basic figure here, not really a whole lot going on, but uh, for a Cobra Commander figure, it still just works fine. 
and the new black silver and gold kind of highlights is uh, a nice kind of standout so it's uh, his special dress uniform or whatever you want to look at it as so all in all it's a really cool figure so yeah awesome Next up is the Cobra Trooper. Again, it is the uh, same sculpt as the rest of the Cobra Troopers, so we're not going to see anything new here. He's got some slightly different web gear to kind of set him apart from his uh, cohorts in this particular package. But other than that, it's the same figure, just a slightly different use of colors on the elbow pads or knee pads and uh, the gloves. So, yeah, nothing really... All that out outstanding here, but uh, still, it does look really nice. It does a really good job. I mean, it's a Cobra Trooper. That's uh, kind of why it's in this pack. So, still a great figure for what it is. The helmet is removable here. Just pops off like everything else. And uh, it does have the two-tone color here. So, it's kind of that yellowish color. And then the blue on top. It, it just works really well for whatever reason here. So articulation wise, the head again spins 360 degrees, same as all the other ones we've seen. Standard uh, ball and swivel at the shoulder, standard ball and swivel at the elbow, and standard twist action at the wrist. The chest feature does a twist and not a whole lot of front and back motion on that but that's kind of standard for this particular sculpt here standard t-hook at the waist double knee joints and at the ankle it's the uh, twist and the uh, rocker here so these things are a little bit fragile that uh, twist feature is kind of just a little stumpy thing so you do have to be kind of careful about that but all in all it just works really well he also has the standard dagger here fits back in his holster pretty easily if I can get it to go in straight get in there there we go so uh, all in all it just works really well he also comes with a standard assault rifle uh, same assault rifle we've seen with all the rest of these some nice detail work and it's in black this time so that fits in his hand very easily so no problems there whatsoever uh, so yeah, I mean it is a basic figure. It's a it's a troop builder. You either like this figure or you don't. And uh, all in all, I actually do like the figure. It is kind of plain, but it's just a regular trooper. So uh, I don't know really what you would like to expect out of it, but it hits all the basic points here. Does everything it needs to do. So yeah, it's that's a good figure in my opinion. The last figure in the set is, of course, the Storm Shadow figure. So it is a uh, reuse of the existing mold. So it's the same one we've seen for all the other Storm Shadow figures. Uh, however, it is a new Deco. So uh, this one is actually based off of, I think, the uh, one of the Valor vs. Venom releases. I think it may have actually been the... Uh, ninja battles set or something like that but anyways it's a, a slightly different variation of uh, the storm shadow that we're used to but all in all it really looks cool so um yeah i mean can't really complain about that it's still an awesome looking figure here i did notice there's a little bit of paint wear on uh, the bicep here of this one on the left but uh all in all still not bad i'm not going to complain too much about that some nice detail work here again it's the same sculpt we've seen before but the paint apps do make it look like a totally new figure so that's really cool here um, his backpack fits on with his uh, sash here so it's uh, you can take it off but it's not a like a peg 
backpack like we've seen in some of the other figures. As far as accessory goes, he does have this nice little knife here that sticks in his belt here. It does stay nice and secure in there though, so you don't have to worry too much about losing it. Uh, some people think that it's uh, actually molded in like the little throw-in stars here, but this actually is removable, so just uh, remember that. The other weapons he comes with is uh, this nice little bow here. It's uh, kind of a basic bow, but um, it still works. Gets the job done here. Fits in his hand pretty easily here, so uh, no big problems there. Nothing to worry about. Then he also has his uh, double katanas here. These are basically the same swords we've seen with everything. Uh, this one's slightly warped a little bit, but uh, I'm sure I could apply a little bit of heat to that and get it to come back up. But as far as the actual mold itself goes, it's got some nice detail work on it. It's got the Arashikagi symbol on the blade itself. Then the sword itself will actually fit into the holster on his back. Usually without any problems. Flip it over and see. For whatever reason, it's... Uh, there we go. It just needs a little persuasion to get in there. Then the uh, little smaller blade here is kind of the same thing. It's got the clan symbol into the, the blade itself. And then it also fits into the backpack as well. So it's nice that he can store his weapons like that. The uh, bow itself can either fit over his shoulder if you wanted to. Or you can uh, slip it around on top of the actual arrows like so. So he can carry all of his weapons fairly easily. As far as articulation wise goes, head does spin 360 degrees. And actually has some good up and down motion as well. Not a lot, but it's decent enough. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. And then he's got that weird half wrist twist. Then uh, standard uh, chest articulation there. He actually has uh, quite a bit of ab rock feature going on there. So really nice there. Standard T-hook at the waist double knee joints and ball and swivel at the ankles as well so yeah this is a cool figure to be honest with you i really like the actual color scheme they're going with here uh, it's kind of plain but at the same time it still fits into the motif of this set of being kind of like the uh, special trooper special occasion where cobra commander is addressing the troops that kind of thing so yeah, I would say actually this is probably my favorite figure out of this entire set. It's really cool. So it's probably worthwhile to pick the thing up just for this figure. But you'll have to be your own judge, I suppose. But yeah, cool Storm Shadow figure. So that is the set in a nutshell here. You get five pretty awesome figures. Uh, it's kind of like a value set, to be honest with you. It uh, does reuse the traditional Cobra Trooper mold quite extensively in this set. You essentially get three troopers with the same sculpt, uh, but they have enough different accessories and different paint apps here to make them completely different figures. And they're still really awesome figures by themselves anyway. So uh, yeah, this is a really cool set here especially if you're into troop building or anything like that. The Storm Shadow figure is probably the standout of this set, um, but at the same time, Cobra Commander does a pretty good job of uh, standing out himself. And then the just regular Cobra Troopers here are really awesome as well. So if you haven't picked this set up, it's probably uh, highly recommended. These things are not really that expensive to come by in the secondary market um, sealed. I'm sure you could probably get the actual troopers themselves a lot cheaper, loose. But I like getting these things and opening them up. So uh, probably 
I would say lean towards that end, but still, again, they're not that expensive, so shouldn't really have that big of a problem finding them. So all in all, yeah, it's a cool set. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Feel free to drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this Cobra Legion 5-pack. Which is your favorite of the five here? Uh, do you think they should have went with any other figures in here? Whatever. I really do like this uh, Stinger driver. I just need to go find more Stingers. Uh, anyways, um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Be on the lookout for more exciting G.I. Joe action figure reviews coming down the pipeline. Until next time... Yo Joe, or in this case, Cobra!